Okay, so I just got this collet set. And the problem is, they're all over my workbench taking up space. So, that's what we're going to do in this video, is we are going to make a collet holder. So I went ahead and drew this up, because it'd be a lot faster to draw it than to try to do all this math in my head. So, I drew it up, and that's what we're going to make. You can, uh, honestly, you can pause the video, you can take a screenshot, you can make one of these yourself. So, first, we cut our piece of angle iron, and now we're going to set our zeros. Now, of course, you can't see it because you've got the window in the background, but i got to zero everything out. I'm going to use our edge finder. Now, I'm not a professional machinist, so if you guys have uh, suggestions, you see me doing something that I could do better, let me know. I'm going to run my edge finder at about 1,000 RPMs. I find it works better. I don't know what you run your edge finder at, but... And then I'm going to make my zero, of course, the back corner here. I never like to make my zero off the front because, frankly, I don't really care how far things are from the front. Typically, this is where I'm going to mount, so that's where I take my zero from. And if you really want to be precise, you could put the zero in the center. And if you really cared about your hole locations and you don't really care about the overall, and that would make sure that your holes are centered and they're not closer to one side than they are the other. Because I'm not going to go ahead and, you know, finish mill this to the exact length. I don't care enough because this is... This is a collet holder, okay? So let's not overcomplicate it. I'm more of a fabricator than a machinist, so I tend to, you know, that that's that's more of a, a fabricator mentality, I know, but, um, so let's go ahead and get started. My breath, it's very cold in here, but I can't run the heater because I'm making a video. You can see my machine rocks a little bit. That's not optimal, to say the least. First hole. First hole is three quarters in, uh, eight seven five over. So three quarters in.
Okay, well, I'm going to have to finish this video up on another date. Looks like I got to go a little bit bigger. I don't know what happened. I could have sworn this drill was going to be big enough. And I'm pretty close to the front already. So, um, yeah. But, you can see, it's turning out. Um, uh, I'll get this finished up and uh, get the video posted. Talk to you guys later. Okay, so you can see I got a little bit of setup going on here. Actually, um, three weeks has just passed since I started making this. And uh, I now have a large enough drill bit. I went ahead and got a one-inch drill bit. If you remember, um, just a couple seconds ago for you, but for me, three weeks ago, um, I had this diameter at 912. Um, that's not big enough for an R8 collet, so I'm going to go ahead and go with an inch. truth can I sit one next to it not bad that'll work now if I had to do this all over again I might space them a little more see how close that is right there um, yeah overall the key is if you stopped and paused and screenshotted the original drawing make the holes an inch um, not uh, what I originally had on the drawing because that's not big enough. So I'm just going to put two holes in the back and mount this on the wall behind the machine. Or maybe I'll mount it next to the machine. But um, if you guys got any videos like this, uh, share them in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, um, feel free to, you know, share this with your friends who've got mills who need to make themselves a, uh, a collet holder. Overall, it's been a fun little project. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little uh, bell button right next to the subscribe button, and then you'll get notifications about future videos like this one. And uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you later.